Mom's gonna be here for Harvest and Hugs Day any minute. We all set? Izzy, tea. Check. Carrot cake. Check. Check. Ceremonial red carpet. Check. Totes and Moche harvest music. Check. And Sparky, you have the honor of blowing this when Mom arrives. So just make sure everything's perfect, times it by a million, and then make it even more perfect than that. Okay, great. Why are you so nervous? It's just Queen Haven. She's been here a bunch of times. Harvest and Hugs Day is like a weirdly big deal in Zephyr Heights, especially for Mom. <laughs> Who wants carrot cake? So it's got to be perfect. have an exquisite array of classic Harvest and Hugs Day tea blends freshly prepared by our master teasmith, Izzy. Oh, do you have elderberry bushel blast? It's a Zephyr Heights classic. Well, we certainly didn't destroy it all in a fire before you got here. <laughs> <laughs> elderberry bushel blast, coming up. Is that a new recipe? No new recipes, just good old fashioned age tested tradition. Just how you like it, right? Carrot cake 2.0, ready to go into the uh, broken oven. Ugh. How are we gonna bake a cake without an oven? Uh, hold on tight. I might have something. You have a baky boo oven? I used to make Harvest and Hugs Day fairy cakes, okay? I was a filly. I'm not proud of it. Oh, I think it's sweet. All right, let's do this. Mm, that carrot cake smells divine. Well, Zip taught me the family recipe, so it should be delicious. My dear, calm down. You've not ruined anything. Well, you're wearing the traditional carrot cake as a face mask, so we're not exactly winning. You think I like Harvest and Hugs Day just because of a cake? Um, kinda? Well, it is delicious, but no. Look, when I was growing up, Harvest and Hugs Day was one of the few days a year we managed to get all the family together. That's why I love it so much, because we were always together. We could be eating mud pie and worm stew for all I care. Now that I can do. Come on, ponies. Let's get whatever food we can find, throw it on the table, and make some precious memories together. Sparky, could you do the honors and get this feast underway? No, no, no! no! <laughs> Pony, stop! 
The whole cars are about to... <laughs> 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 right, that's it. You ponies obviously need a refresher on the three S's of successful pony parenting. The three S's? Uh, <laughs> you know, my, uh, my foolproof system for perfect dragon parenting. Uh, number one, keep them safe. Yeah. Uh, number two, no snacks. And three, never let them out of your sight. Wait, where'd he go? Sparky? Sparky! <laughs> Up top, Sheriff. I know, that was a, a test. <laughs> and you passed. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a second. That looked like dragon fire? <laughs> If I can get some juicy intel on Sparky's Dragonfire, maybe Opaline will finally stop talking about it. Get me that Dragonfire! With Dragonfire, I'll be the most powerful fire alicorn of all time! <laughs> Dragon... Fire... The station is danger-proof from head to hoof. Hey, that rhymed. Oh, like putting those safety locks on cupboard doors. Uh, try a six-point laser-triggered alarm system. <laughs> Send third sharp objects. Duh. Always keep them locked safely away. And under constant watch. Nice and simple. Lastly, make sure you cushion all the hard corners and edges. See? No risk of harm whatsoever. Ow! Whoa! No wonder Opaline wants that dragon fire. It's so powerful. Yay! Now, Main Street is the best place to practice what I call snack resistance training. Sparky needs to be able to. He needs to be able to... <sighs> it's a learning curve. This learning curve tastes like blueberries. Um, Hitch, what did you say the third S was? Never let them out of your sight. Ah, where's he gone? Where's Sparky? We have to find him. Izzy, check the beach. Zip, be our eyes in the sky. Sunny, you uh, just skate around until you find him. Look after one little baby dragon. Sparky! Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I thought you might have fallen into the sea or been baked into a pie or been eaten by bees or... Look at the bunny corn, Hitch. Look at the bunny corn. Here we are. <sighs> Sorry, ponies. I just... Ah, all I want is to be a great dragon dad. Hitch. You are a great dragon dad. Just look how much you care about Sparky. But honestly, I think you can relax a little bit. Sunny's right. Sparky might be a baby, but he's made of pretty tough stuff. Thanks, every pony. And you're right. I need to be less controlling. Hey, Sparky, I'm sorry I was so. Sparky? No! 
good season for pumpkins this year. If anything, a bit too good. What do you even do with this many pumpkins? Any ideas? I don't know. But I can ask my followers. Any ideas of your own? Um, what's that supposed to mean? You're always asking the pipsqueaks for help. Maybe you should try trusting yourself to come up with an idea once in a while. Um, easy. I can, I can think of one right now. Like, right now. And it's coming up. Idea coming up. Any minute. Here we go. And... Uh... Oh, great idea, Sparky. Every pony <laughs> loves a pumpkin carriage. Uh, except, as Maritime Bay Bylaw 927 clearly states, no vehicles can be made from vegetables. What? I don't make the laws. Ooh, these pumpkins are super luxe. Luckily, Sparky can turn that carriage back easy as pie. <laughs> of course! Let's make these pumpkins into giant pies and have a pie eating contest! Ooh, sounds like a piece of cake or slice of pie. Either way, sounds delicious. Whoa, what's happening? Why is it all pumpkin-y in here? Hello? Anyone? Hello? <gasps> My pipsqueaks! You're always asking the pipsqueaks for help. No, wait. I can do this myself. Step is wrong. I don't always need my fans. I am perfectly capable of... Whoa! Whoa! That's the last of them, Izzy. Body McBakerton, let's make some pie. It's the final round in Mayor Tonkin's first annual pie eating contest. Just two ponies remain. Bring on the pies! Mm, freshly baked! Be in a pie eating competition, and certainly not as the pie. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh no, it's a thick crust. First pony to finish their pie wins. Ready, set. Looks delicious. Eat. Yes. No. Stop. Don't eat me. Ah! Here before. Pip, that you? Whoa! Some entrance! Wait, you've been stuck in that pie? Why didn't you ask for help? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because some pony thinks I'm always asking for help? Ooh, ouch. Pip, I'm sorry I made you feel that way. I didn't think. It's okay. See, I got out by myself after all, with no help. <laughs> yeah, you did. No other pony could have ever pulled off an idea like that. Yep, <sighs> big ideas are totally my thing. <laughs> and... <laughs> Finished. Uh, I declare Rufus the winner of Maritime Bay's first Amherst pie eating competition. Huh? No fair! My pie escaped! Oh my glitter! This is going to be the best surprise ever! Here she comes! Thunder, light him up! Three, Three two, two, one! one. Happy Mary's Day! Ah, you're missing the fireworks! Oh, we thought 
you were the queen. <laughs> Imagine that. Me, the queen. Well, hello, your majesty. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've completely wasted the fireworks. Ugh, I knew this would happen. Zip, you don't need fireworks to show the queen how much you care about her. Which is great, because now you don't have any. <laughs> Yay. Maybe she's just running late. No, I know exactly where she is. What's next on the royal to-do list, Zoom? Well, we are running a bit late, Your Majesty, but for item 81, you were supposed to... <gasps> Meet my daughters in the royal square! Oh, dear. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? <laughs> You were supposed to meet us in the square. I even made an appointment with Zoom this time. Being a no-show is like totally harsh, mother. And on Mayor's Day? Rude. I know, I'm so sorry I've let you down and on this special day. <sighs> Believe me, there's nothing I'd like more than to take a break from being queen. But there's just too much to do. Then why don't we give you a break? We'll do all of your queenly duties for the rest of the day. Really? You want to be queen? Come on, Mom. How hard can it be? <gasps> okay, then, Zoom. We'll make sure you have everything you need. Good luck! Of course, Your Majesty. Boarding the royal to-do list now. That's not <clears throat> so bad. Look at that! It just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. This will be fun, right? Item 82, the newborn bull's portrait. Grand opening of the Royal Playground. <laughs> This'll be easy. Oh, this is hard to watch. Cut <laughs> ribbon. Just go on without us. I do hope everything's okay. We did it! We're late for dinner, but we made it! And how did it go? A newborn foal gave me a shiner! The queen is much harder than it looks. Look at all this dirt in my face! I never use scissors again! The truth is, there were five of us. We didn't even come close to finishing the royal to-do list. I can't believe you do that every day. Yeah, I think we were the ones being harsh earlier. You are super amazing. That means a lot, Pip. Thank you. <gasps> you think of everything. Now every pony dig in. Hoof tag, gorgeous. Glitter cannon at the ready, Captain. Ooh. What? Why would we need a glitter cannon? For Sunny's party. The skate ramps are all secured. This party is going to be epic. Skate ramps? 
Hey, the dance floor is all ready for Sunny's, Sunny's party? party. No, no, no. We agreed to throw her a makeover party. Uh, no. You said an awesome party. An awesome art party. But I already choreographed a group dance number. I already built a skate park. Oh, no. Sunny's back! Okay, new plan. We'll all throw our own parties for Sunny. After all, four parties are better than one, right? Right! <sighs> Surprise! I hope you're ready for the best parties ever! Oh, that's so fun! <laughs> oh, thanks, Izzy. I do love a good afternoon. <laughs> You know what this party needs? The element of danger. So tonight we're gonna party. So throw those hooves up every pony. We got that glitter, gonna roll. It's time to blow up the disco. Cause when this place is popping, this is we'll so party, party, cool. Party, party, Glamour party. waits for no pony. Come on, Sunny. Of course you do. Party, party, party. Uh -huh. Oh, I needed oh, yeah. this. Uh -huh. Say We're hoof tag beauty goals. Hey! Crazy noodle. Unicorn of Conga. Up high, down low, hitch it to a post. Flip it sunny side up and on a piece of toast. Call me Pony. Let's go sick people. We might blow the roof off this place. Oh, Sunny, your pores seem really tense. There's my dance, buddy. Are you ready? What? Catch me! Time to curl those eyelashes! Okay, every pony, that's it! This is too much. I can't handle it. I've had so much fun with you all, but it's not what I want. I just want all of us to have fun together. You know, it's pretty hard to do a conga line with just two ponies. And races are better with more competition. Maybe we should... Combine all our parties together? To make a... <gasps> a roller disco beauty glitter party? I love it! Uh, that's if you love it, Sunny. <laughs> yes! So tonight we're gonna party. So throw the hands up every pony. We got that glitter gonna roll. It's time to blow up the disco. Cause when this place is popping, we'll party, party, party. Oh yeah. Maritime Bay trash heap of Equestria? Huh? Filming visitor numbers cause chaos? <laughs> Can you guys believe this? As if Maritime Bay has a trash problem. 
Um, are you kidding? It's like all over Clip Trot. And it's not just trash. I've been getting a lot of complaints about how busy Maritime Bay is now. They are mostly from Posey, but still. Unicorns are gasping too much at the views, Pegasus wings creating unwanted breezes, unicorn smell, and another thing. Hey! Oh, pony baloney, these news ponies always make things look worse than they are. I'm sure it's all just a big fuss over nothing. You've got to be kidding me. Selfie sticks! Get your selfie megaphones, sticks! Megaphones! Get your megaphones! <laughs> okay, we may have a problem. Ponies, you were right. Maritime Bay is a trash heap. I've seen actual trash heaps that are much cleaner. Well, I'm not gonna sit around and watch our town turn into a complete disaster. It's time to take out the trash. Aw, but I took out the trash this morning. Not literally, Izzy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Team Clean, if we want to live together, we're going to have to work together. Clean every corner, sweep every sidewalk, mop every, uh, mopable area. Zip, track down those litterers. Izzy, you're on redecoration. Hitch, sort out the rickshaw problem. Pip, selfie sticks, critters, just stay adorable. Okay, Maritime Bay, time to sparkle and shine. This is disgusting. Who lives like this? Phew, looks better. You've got to be kidding me! Okay, almost there. Just a little bit more. <laughs> More help! There's so much garbage! The town's about to explode! Whoa. Whoa! What's all this? We saw Pip's video. Pretty inspiring stuff! We're here to help clean up. If we want to live together, we're gonna have to work together! Yeah, yeah, I remember the speech. Wow, okay, um, Izzy, get these ponies some team clean caps! Let's clean up like there's no tomorrow! There's no tomorrow? Tuesday? Yes! Thank you, Rufus. But it's also the day we prove that pony kind can live together in unity! So long as we clean up once in a while. So, I hereby announce the brand new yearly cleanup carnival! A special day to clean Maritime Bay from head to hoof. All overseen by Team Clean! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked cleaning before it was cool. <laughs> 